Hey, Lauren. I have a surprise for you. Come here. Hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, I just okay? looked and I was like, whoa, I think he was in here last week. She said, my mom might be coming down. I'm like, okay. I had to trick him. Okay. Oh, I know, but I was like, okay, because she usually says they're coming or not. Really? How'd you guys do? They did well. They lost to Oh. Lauren, who is that? You okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Now we gotta go get the other one. She's yeah, sitting right over there. Come on, let's go surprise <laughs> Sissy. Not yet. I think she. She didn't know. She no, they didn't know. This is cool. You know, people can get heart attacks like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where they are. Isn't that them sitting over there? You don't even know. Right? Yeah. Gosh, you guys. You all right? <laughs> Give me a kiss. Bunch of crybabies. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Okay, you're good. Oh, God, I'm fucking terrified. Come on. <laughs> Well, Logan's not in it. <laughs> <laughs> Say it's not it. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God! 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 Did she look at the tiny present at all? No, <laughs> oh, I think we rushed it. We still got the same result. You can't. Horse. Oh, oh my God. Oh God. Yeah. How? How are you here? Yes. How are you here? Oh. Horse. Oh God. Oh God. Oh. Nailed yeah, it. I'm recording your surprise. <laughs> All right, ready? One. Stand that way. This way? Right there, yeah. That works. On the count of three, take it off. Ready? Uh -huh. One, two, three. So is it worth wearing this stupid mask? <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> it's freezing in my glasses. Look at how tall she is. Is there a light that's out? It says record. Yep. In.
Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, <mommy! laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to take her a minute, Rob. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I think she missed ya! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, don't worry. I'm here. <laughs> No, I'll be home for Christmas, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you son of a bee, why did you do that? <laughs> it was so hard to keep it from the two. Hi, Carol. That's why I put Tucker with me. <laughs> I was like, I need him on a leash. <laughs> I'm also for Christmas party. You should know better than that. <laughs> oh Hours. my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Timmy. Hi, Timmy. When did you get in? The 19th. Oh, you suck. <laughs> you can shut it off. It might hurt me. Oh, Sucky. Oh, my god! 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 It's blood curdling this last time. I'm surprised. Who in the hell is behind the door? Why is there somebody behind the door? She saw me first. She don't know I'm here. <laughs> I miss you guys so much. It's a story that's sure to put a smile on your face. A little boy gets a big surprise. Nicole Grigg reports on the day an Oakwood family will never forget. Air Force Major Dave Pritchard has seen a lot of devastation the past year while serving in Afghanistan. But today is a day of joy and one he's been waiting for for a long time. It takes his 11-year-old son, Shane, a few seconds to even realize. <laughs> An embrace both father and son never want to end. Man, I miss you. A lot sure changes in a year. You are so tall. Especially baby Claire, now six months old. She thought that her dad lives in the computer. In Afghanistan, Major Pritchard helped make routes safe for soldiers on the ground. He's now back safe on American soil. Being gone 
from uh, the United States really teaches you how awesome this country is and um, you know what great lengths that some people will do to uh, to defend it. His wife Sarah and friends at the Kettering YMCA planned the special surprise just for Shane. You got good swimming flippers. Shane has spent a lot of time in this pool while his father was away. He can't wait to tell dad what he's missed. Best race these days. The 50 backstroke. 50 backstroke. I've been pretty tough, but I'm proud of him for doing it. Shane has always kept his dad close to his heart, but now he's even closer, and for these few seconds, it's just father and son. Nicole Gregg, Fox 45 News. Okay. Brandon, you just let us know. Uh, starting in three, two, <coughs> one. We are creating a video to show on WEDS as part of our Veterans Day program. We want to conduct an interview with EDS students who have parents in the military. We have some questions we would like to ask you about what it is like when they are stationed overseas. Please introduce yourselves. Um, I'm Grace Menzies and I am in 7th grade. I'm Jack Menzies and I am in 4th grade. I'm Lily Mizzy Zimmer and I'm, I'm in kindergarten. Now great, now, now Lily, which one of your parents is in the military? My dad. What country is he in? Kuwait. Wow. When, Jack, when was the last time you saw your dad? Eight to seven months ago. And Grace, when is he scheduled to come home? Um, the middle of December. Um, what do you think of your dad and what does he do for a living, Grace? Um, he is a pulmonologist in the Navy and I think he's great. Lily, are you proud of what he does? Yes. And Jack, what do you do to help out others, other military fam families who are stationed in other countries? Well, um, I do pennies for peace. Um, it's here where it's not really the military, but it takes well, pennies for peace takes t takes pennies, dimes, and all that stuff. And it takes, and then it donates to people in Pakistan, who um, it takes one penny to go to school for a day and one dollar to go to school for a week. hard to describe you uh, when you're gone all you think about is coming home and uh, I just got off the plane last night and 
my wife picked me up in Gulfport just about two and a half hours ago, so uh, I'm still a little tired from traveling and uh, just happy to be home with my kids and my wife and uh, have time to think about it over the next couple of days, I guess, but uh, just...